Hello everyone. Over the years, Rick Prime and Evil Morty have both had significant roles in Rick and Morty's plot, but Rick Prime has emerged as the superior antagonist for one very important reason. The two antagonists of the program have been around for a number of seasons, and even if they don't always make an appearance, they always have an impact. Their mere presence elevates some of the best episodes of the programs in which they have appeared. They've both been portrayed as villains, yet there's no clear connection between the two. Their objectives are at odds, and in the fifth episode of Rick and Morty Season 7, Evil Morty even assists in finding Rick Prime. Their distinct objectives enable them to be distinguished from one another and establish themselves as distinct villains. The primary character of Rick and Morty, Rick C-137, and Rick Prime have a past. On the other side, Evil Morty demonstrates his independence from the primary protagonists of the series and instead demonstrates his intelligence by coming up with his own evil schemes. Although they have all shown to be crafty and troublesome, Rick Prime is the superior villain for one very important reason. Their activities throughout the series have made them into much greater villains than any other character in Rick and Morty. Rick Prime lacks a genuine moral basis for his motivations, which are significantly more personal. Rick Prime killed their wife, Diane, in every dimension, which is why every Rick Sanchez in the multiverse despises him. He merely did this to demonstrate that he was, in fact, the original Rick, and he thought that anyone who did not recognize the brilliance of what he had done in developing the portal pistol was beneath him. The fact that he decided to harm every other Rick in order to establish his dominance shows how thoroughly evil he is. Because of his conceit, he has come to truly despise other Ricks, but he still smiles all the time. In Season 7, Episode 5, he makes a bunch of Ricks battle to the death and promises Diane to the winner, demonstrating how much he likes torturing the other Ricks. In actuality, though, the reward is actually a weapon-equipped robotic replica of Diane. She is designed to make fun of the survivor while attempting to murder him in order to highlight Rick Prime's moral decay. He is still the greatest enemy on Rick and Morty because of his dedication to making Rick suffer in all dimensions. Even after Rick Prime killed the character in the seventh season of the television series, Evil Morty is still a superior character. Even though Rick Prime has solidified his position as the greatest villain on the show, Evil Morty is much more complicated. His past demonstrates how he became enraged with Rick's mistreatment of him and decided to take matters into his own hands. Although it is difficult to defend the murdering of several Ricks from other dimensions, Evil Morty's motivations are somewhat clear. Though he goes too far in the process, he tries to free the Mortys from their grandfather. While Evil Morty's schemes are mostly driven by injustice, Rick Prime acts out of selfishness. He is significantly more distinct from other Mortys in terms of character than Rick Prime is from other Ricks. While Ricks are generally presented as rather nasty people despite having redeeming characteristics, Rick Prime is essentially just a brighter, less moral version of regular Ricks. This is what draws the audience into Evil Morty. Unlike any of his colleagues, he exudes self-assurance, independence, and remarkable brilliance. His competence even impresses Rick Prime. Despite being a villain, Evil Morty is one of the most distinctive characters in the series, which is why he has gained so much popularity. Even though Evil Morty poses a serious threat, Rick and Morty need to give the persona even more menace in order to cover for Rick Prime's passing. Evil Morty teamed up with the two title characters in Season 7, Episode 5. He continued to project an air of intelligence and coldness, yet he got along well with them without coming across as overly antagonistic. Given that Evil Morty now possesses the Omega device's plans, the episode did provide the program with an instant means of highlighting his threat potential. Given that Rick Prime killed Diane with this weapon in every dimension, Evil Morty is a real menace. The character may become even more deadly as a result, but the program needs to make him want to use it. The most noteworthy would be Rick C-137 triggering a multiverse event that affects Evil Morty, given his pre-existing animosity toward Rick's. He would probably use it. He might be the one to enrage Evil Morty, which would address the No Morty issue from Rick and Morty Season 7. Since Morty hasn't been in the show much in Season 7, the plot could center more on them if he either directly or indirectly triggers Evil Morty. This would maintain Rick's involvement, increase Morty's significance, and make Evil Morty a top priority for the primary characters.